Hi everyone, if you're new to my channel, my name is Julia Surface. I am a rising senior at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, and I am a member of Alpha Delta Pi. And today I thought it would be useful to make a sorority terminology video. I feel like there's so many terms that are thrown around and I use these terms in my videos. And I realize that some of y'all may not be familiar with these terms, which is completely understandable. So I thought it would be useful to go on ahead and make a whole video of just terminology that we use in Greek life. I'm gonna do my best to do the terms by alphabetical order, so let's just get right into the video. The first term that we are gonna talk about is an active. So an active is a member of a Greek organization who is currently enrolled as an undergraduate student and is currently involved in the Greek life organization. Lumna is a sorority member who is no longer an undergraduate student. They have graduated, which means that they have completed their time as a sorority member, so they are no longer active anymore. So currently, I am an active of Alpha Delta Pi, and whenever I graduate this year, I will become an alumna. So the next term is bid. Bid is an invitation to join a sorority or fraternity. And then we have bid day, and that is the grand finale of recruitment. And that is when bids are distributed. And it is a day of just celebration, excitement, happiness, joy, all of those good emotions. Chapter is the campus group of a national organization. For example, I am a part of Alpha Kappa chapter of Alpha Delta Pi. And this is just a way for nationals to distinguish which group is in which university and location. Sororities and fraternities both will do their chapters in chronological order. So for example, the very first chapter of a Greek life organization would be the Alpha chapter. The second chapter would be known as beta chapter and they would go through the entire Greek alphabet and then kind of start with alpha again so alpha alpha and therefore continuous open bidding is also known as COB and this is a term used by Panhellenic sororities which is an open recruitment period that bids can be distributed to potential new members without a certain schedule or structure and typically continuous open bidding is done by chapters who may need to fulfill their quota and by that I mean gaining more members into that organization and not all sororities will do continuous open bidding. It just really depends on the chapter and Panhellenic and also the sorority's national headquarters as well. Dry recruitment is a term used to describe how alcohol is strictly prohibited during the recruitment process. This goes for potential new members as well as active active members. This means that there is no drinking at all involved during the week of recruitment and at the University of Tennessee this dry period is concluded the day after bid day. That is typically referred to as first night out. First night out is a term that's used by UT. I know for sure. I'm not sure if it's a universal term, but basically it describes the day after bid day, which is when the dry recruitment period is finalized. Formal recruitment is the official period of time during the year with a structured schedule. This is typically a week long process. Sometimes it could be even up to two weeks and formal recruitment has scheduled events. This is also commonly known as recruitment week and for the University of Tennessee our formal recruitment process occurs in the very beginning of fall semester which is typically somewhere in the month of August. A fraternity is an individual Greek letter organization and so fraternities are most commonly known to be men organizations whereas sororities are most commonly referred to be women organizations. Yamakai is a term used by Panhellenic sororities and is known as a recruitment counselor. She is going 
going to be a neutral, bias-free person that is in charge of a group of potential new members who is kind of the go-to girl during the recruitment experience. She is temporarily disaffiliated from her sorority and is in charge of managing her Gamma Chi group's schedules and assisting them with anything and everything they could ever need. A Gamma Chi group is a group of potential new members who are sharing one common Gamma Chi and at the University of Tennessee, Gamma Chi groups will only be together for the Go Greek round and then from there, everybody in that Gamma Chi group will have separate schedules. However, it is definitely important to get to know the girls in that group because you are going through the same sort of things and experiences and you will definitely see these girls throughout your four years of your college experience. Greek and Greeks are typically used to describe students who are affiliated with a sorority or fraternity. Hazing. This is a really, really serious term. We do not take this term lightly at the University of Tennessee and I can assure you that after I describe this term, UT has absolutely no room for hazing whatsoever. But hazing is any act or practice of a active member directed against an active member or in its most common form a new member with or without the intent of causing the potential to be harmful, to be punishment, to cause embarrassment, to participate in any kind of illegal activities. And hazing is absolutely not okay whatsoever. If you ever feel like you are experiencing hazing, please, please, please use so many of the various resources UT has. It is not okay to feel that way and it definitely needs to be addressed. UT does an amazing job having those resources for people so I just want to be very clear that hazing is absolutely not okay and is something that the university is very very motivated to absolutely seize and shut down. I can personally say that Panhellenic is incredibly strict on hazing. It is just not tolerable at all and I have never experienced hazing ever ever in my time in Greek life and it should not be something that should should even be a thought in anyone's mind. Please, please, please be aware of it and know what it is and please speak up if you see it, hear about it, or you're experiencing it because it is not okay. An inactive member is an individual who is still associated with the chapter. However, they are not a part of the day-to-day -day activities of the organization and they have decided to take a leave of absence. Every sorority has their particular rule rules about being inactive. For AD Pi, we do not really allow members to be inactive unless there is an emergency or a certain situation that makes it seem that being inactive is the best solution. However, this is something that is just different for every chapter. Initiation is a formal ceremony where new members will become initiated members, which basically means they will be active members. In Alpha Delta Pi, I can say that we call our new members alphas. We call our active initiated members deltas. And then when you graduate to become an alumna, we call these women pies. Intentional single preference, also known as suicide bidding, is a term used by panelic sororities to describe when a potential Potential new member lists only one sorority on their membership recruitment acceptance bidding agreement instead of two. Suicide bidding is definitely a risky thing to do and you should definitely talk to your Gamma Chi before pursuing this type of action. Legacy is a term to describe the child, grandchild, sibling of an initiated member of a Greek chapter. For example, my mom is a Chi Omega, so therefore I'm a legacy of Chi Omega. If I ever have a daughter, my daughter will be a legacy of Alpha Delta Pi. This is another important term to understand. It is the Membership Recruitment Acceptance Binding Agreement, also known as MRABA. This is a one-year binding agreement that a potential new member will sign after preference round, and it states that you will accept any bid from any of the sorties that are listed on that agreement. This is seriously a really huge deal because once you sign that document and turn it in, you are basically in a contract agreement 
where you have to accept that bid from one of the sororities you listed. And even if you decide to drop out of the sorority before initiation, you cannot participate in COB events, spring recruitment events that are more informal because you have a one year binding agreement that you agree to take a bid from one of those houses. And so you cannot participate in those events until the next year's primary formal recruitment. A new member is somebody who is a part of a Greek organization who is not yet initiated or an active member. National Panhellenic Conference, known as NPC, is a body composed of 26 different sororities. A philanthropy is an organization or a service that a chapter promotes to raise money for. For example, Alpha Delta Pi's philanthropy is Ronald McDonald House Charities. Pinning is a ceremony that is the start of the new member process. Some sororities have a ceremony that you physically wear a pin. Other sororities may require you to like sign some kind of book. It is just truly different for every chapter on what they decide to do. Potential new member, also known as PNM, is a non-member who is eligible to participate in the recruitment process to become a new member and hopefully an initiated member. Quota is the number of new members that that each sorority can pledge on campus during the recruitment process. Every sorority's quota is going to look different. It really just depends on the sorority, Panhellenic, and also the sorority's nationals. Just because some sororities have a larger pledge class compared to others really doesn't mean anything. It's all very relative. But I will say that Panhellenic at University of Tennessee really strives to make the pledge classes of every sorority more equal and not have one chapter have a ton of new members and then another chapter not have as many. Not every single chapter will just have the exact same new member count. A recommendation letter or a reference letter is a written letter or a letter written on your computer that an alumna will write for a potential new member to endorse that potential new member for membership of the alumnus chapter. And at the University of Tennessee, recommendation letters are actually optional. They are not required. However, we as a panel community kind of like to refer to recommendation letters as extra credit. It just allows the chapters to get to know you better and allows for the alumna to just write something really meaningful and personable about you. Recruitment is the series of events that allows potential new members and active members the chance to get to know each other at the University of Tennessee, we have four events, Go Greek Round, Philanthropy Round, Sisterhood Round, and Preference Round. And then the very last day of recruitment is Bid Day. That is just a large celebration. Snap Bidding is a term used by Panhellenic sororities. And this is an option to chapters who may not have fully filled their quota status. And they are able to offer bids to potential new members whose preferences were not necessarily matched. And and these type of bids are only a thing with formal recruitment, but they are not the same as COB or informal spring recruitment whatsoever. Those are just some of the turns for me that came to mind. I hope that this video will clarify some stuff for y'all and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.